This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Let's talk about using decals a little bit today with irregular surfaces. I've got a deformed face here that I want to put a decal on. Well, you know, first thing I'm going to try is appearances. Maybe that's good enough. Maybe I don't need a decal. So I'm just going to go to appearances, to expand this, and go down to my textures. I've got a Go Engineer logo that I want to use. I'll just drag that out and drop it there and make it that face. I only want that main portion. I want it to cover pretty much the whole thing, but it's not what I'm looking for. If I left or right click here and go to appearance and pick face, my uh, editor opens up and then I can go to mapping and I can change how this looks. If I go that's uh, planar, if I go to spherical that maybe works a little bit better or box map, no, I think this one works better. And I want to change that to 180 degrees and uh, I can change some things, go to mapping. Uh, I can change this to a smaller, oh, that's even worse. Medium, that's where I was. Big, if I click on that a couple times. Well, yeah, but the thing is, it I get other parts of this. This is not going where I want it to go, so let's just cancel that. And I'll get rid of that, exit out of there. Now, I want to use the logo. I got a couple ways to get into logos. I can go to my display manager up here and find decals and pick add decal and then I can check for my custom decals here and I can just grab one and drag it out here into the interface or I could just click on it and it would put it right in here then I can say fine I want it on that face and you can see that this thing is deformed and what's nice is I can drag this around I can grab the little circle here and I can turn this around to 180 degrees and then I can double check to make sure that's okay. Go to mapping here. Now I want this thing to fill this whole page. Well, I could grab these corners and drag it, but you know, I'm way too lazy for that. So I'll just pick, leave fixed aspect ratio turned on, and I'll click fit width and fit height. That's what I'm looking for. That's nice. Now I want to maybe add some snazzy detail. So I'll add some, some nice reflections and maybe add a little bit of color to this thing that's like a uh, reflected color to match the customer's uh, decor. So I'll go to illumination here. I'll see what I can do about changing some of these things. I'm going to pick specular color. Okay, then I can do specular color and I can drag this thing and make it brighter or whatever I'm looking for here. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit of reflection put in here. Now I'm getting my reflection. Then go back to my decal editor here. I can double click on the decal and then I can change this however I want. Go back to illumination and change my reflection amount to less or more. Oh, that's way too much. Just a little bit here and maybe add a little blurriness, luminous intensity. Then I can change this until I get a pleasing effect. So now I've got my decal the way I want to turn this around. I can see the shininess. I can see the reflections. I can see all these different things. Nice. But there's another way to get decals. I mean, I can just go straight over to uh, where the decals are stored and just grab one and drag it out and stuff it there. Fit the width, fit the height. I can work with decals on oddball shaped faces very easily. References here to some other videos and look at uh, Shivani's and some of the other ones and see how to actually make the decal and some of the other things that make this really a spectacular thing. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer.